since we don't have brake discs and brake pads in a, in a simulator, we use a slave cylinder that we integrated into the Invicta design. And this is actually also a two-stage system. And that's where it's different from what's out there that, uh, as I'll show you a little bit later, what's out there today, you may have a master cylinder and you may have a, um, a slave cylinder, but you don't really have this two-stage system. As you can see here, we have the elastomer here. In our pedals, the only thing the elastomer does is to determine how hard is the soft stage before you engage the second stage. So if you want a really soft pedal before it turns hard, you put in the softer one, and if you want a really hard feeling, you put in the, the hard one. But it will actually not change the travel of the pedal itself. The travel of the pedal will always be the same. Like we saw in the Audi, uh, the, the, the pedal travel is around two centimeters measured on the faceplate of the pedal. Now I'm not so strong, I can compress this with my hands, so I, I took it out of the Invicta system here. But what you will see when I press the pedal now is, you have the soft stage, just like under a go-kart and just like in the race car. And then when this disc hits the bell here, you engage stage two. But it's not just a mechanical stop because it's on the slave side. So in the master cylinder, I'm now pushing against the hydraulic oil just like in the race car, just like in the go-kart. Okay, so what I just described is not a simulation. It is like in a real race car. 